starting the match again. We're doing Monte Carlo. Again on that whole auto rifle training arc. But now it's sad boy hours on this training arc because I was in the middle of recording this this video, this upload. And my first gameplay, which I was going it should have been uploaded. Or it should have been recorded. I ran out of space recording it in the midst of the second match. To which then I find out that my first match has had one or fifty-two kills. Which I wasn't expecting it to be a fifty-two kill game. I was expecting mm, twenty or thirty. So I just lost all that gameplay footage, so here we are, sad boy hours. Gotta make up and do that all over again now. <laughs> but no, I was honestly talking about how Monte Carlo feels kind of eh. And then, okay, that was odd. How it kind of feels so-so. And in that exact same match, I end up with 52 kills. And 92% progress on my catalyst. Because I didn't have my catalyst finished all the way, so I was just finishing that up too. So. <sighs> the video footage that will never see the light of day. That corrupted. <laughs> but hey, at least my aim is on point. More on point now than it was when I was starting that match. But with that being the case, now there's less likely an opportunity for me to have matches that'll last that long for me to get 52 kills. Just know that in the recording process of this video, I did get a 52 kill game with Monte Carlo. That sadness struck and I lost the footage. Assuming that the match goes long enough to allow for that kind of control of count. Which, as long as we hold maybe one zone, maybe two, a little bit of time should happen. So, we'll see. Shots of those power ammo weapons. What, four per brick you can pick up on some of them? And all it is is just a rocket launcher with an arc to it. No, something that happened today, as it's the still Tuesday, so it's still update day, is that I woke up and got on and got up this morning and was expecting not a whole lot of changes. Iron Banner to be gone, maybe some quality of life changes, a few bug fixes, but amidst all of that, 
we got, or I guess the major part of that was checkmate changes and game overall ability like its exotic perk got nerfed by 50% so the mobility the strafe the handling all of that which I think is awesome because that should help to dial back at least a lot of the okay I haven't seen moths actually get used in PvP and that's kind of interesting Uh, but that should hopefully help to reduce the amount of random SMGs we see. We'll still see SMGs as they are still one of the best weapon types in the game due to purely consistency and other values of that nature. Glaive Prime. That was my chance. Oh, looks like we still have a charge. Right. As long as I can get in close on somebody. There we go. Hey, hey, let's go. We go from the bayonet straight into a super kill. Let's go. Oh, okay. Prophecy auto. Prophecy auto. Alright. Speaking of that is another auto rifle that I wish I had a better roll of, but I don't. Um why? Why am I still alive? I died. Um, I, I just don't know what people do, why they do that. be a close match, or at least as close as I can make it. But I think they're just going to go ahead and steamroll us right here. It's not like steamroll, they're going to take victory. Take a few of them with you, though. Alright, probably 35 kills. Considering I was dead quite a bit more than I was anticipating. I was close to keeping my word on that 40 on that almost 50 kill game. That's awesome. But that was third match on on in this session with Monte Carlo and some odd situations there as far as supers are concerned. We also even got the bayonet to properly function that time since in the last recording I was using it but I missed my I would special reload again and then I would take my bayonet away which was unfortunate but it is what it is. Um. Now that we're in the interlude here, kind of in the middle. Uh, I would like to bring to the attention of the viewers. Huh. A little bit too formal. But anyways. 
Uh, we are currently at 96 subscribers. Uh, I did say that we, I would do a stream with viewers at 100. So we are only four away from doing that. Um, another thing is that if I go to my analytics, about 98% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you don't, if you like the content and you're enjoying it, if you don't mind dropping a sub, that would be awesome. And then drop a like on whatever content you find more most enjoyable. For the note, for the foreseeable future here, it's going to be mostly auto rifle focused as I try to work on my tracking before getting back to the Wicked Implement gameplay. As the Wicked Implement is one of, if not my f most favorite weapon to use currently in the game. So, for right now, I've just been on an auto rifle spree. We used Rosarago yesterday. We used Crate a couple days before that. I was also messing around with a couple different roles of lethal of lethal abundance. We'll probably pull those out in another one coming soon. Horror story is another one I did I did quite enjoy. But as it stands, more in Monte Carlo for this video. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, if you do feel like dropping that subscribe, that's awesome. Thank you for enjoying the content. And thank you to the many people who have subscribed over the past month. Your support is awesome. Thank you. And I think we've got a another match, Radiant Cliffs. And a black screen, as is constant today, I've noticed. Most of my matches today, the intro sequence hasn't functioned properly, so I am wondering if that's part partly due to the changes they made this week or what but I'm just waiting for it to let us in <laughs> we'll see if we can get another 40 plus kill game for the second match here we might just be able to at this rate that is if the match loads come on <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we'll go look through my patterns here real fast. Get catalyst. One weapon I did recently get my hands on, I've got the Apportative Crafted. And so I actually have that in my inventory here, I think. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Well, two weapons. The Scalar Potential from this season. I do intend to use use this in a video later down the line once I have a few more weeks or a few more days of auto rifle under my belt perhaps another month but I will be getting that out and playing with it as well as my hortative roll I think I went air assault with golden tricorn as heal clip right now to me it's only so-so but I haven't used it a whole lot in any live gameplay I got my Adept Igneous with that, with Heal Clip and Precision Instrument, but I haven't really used it a whole lot. Because, well, hand cannons just aren't something I enjoy using a whole lot. Dang. Messed that up. Should've gone for the slide. Okay. I didn't realize it was a 4v whatever. Sidearm. Thank you, teammate. I wasn't expecting him to just kind of ring around the le ring around the rosy like that with me there. Most of the time they don't do that. Left here, cut from the middle. It's doing pretty solid. That's Texas. Trace right there. Also, another thing I've noticed is that I've seen a lot of Trace Red Leaders in the past couple of times, or at least today. 
not in the past couple of days, today specifically. But I also saw that Brace Rifles got a 20% buff in PvP, and I was wondering if perhaps that change was maybe an overall unintentional change, or if it was a the proper change. They just labeled it with the checkmate changes, which is why it got labeled funky. Let's get away. That is a lot of Monte Carlos. I don't think I've seen this many Monte Carlos in a match in a while. I would be very surprised if I... Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm the reason there's a lot of them. It would make sense that I'm the reason there's a lot of them, because I got a 44 kill game and then two matches prior to that. It was a 52. And most of these people have been in those matches. So that would make sense as to why. Take that for a second. Why? No. This way, I should be seeing one open somewhere. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm going this way.
the other one? And that is a bayonet. Alright. Let's see if we can get that bayonet to work. Oh, I didn't realize it changed your marker as well. Ooh! I'm dead. I'm not living that. As much as I would love to try and bayonet that, uh, that's not working. Uh, that's a fairly reasonable two games there. Monte Carlo showed its showed its strength there pretty well. Uh, so so. Probably with the last. Oh, it was no. I'm, not, I'm looking at zone advantage. It was a 30 kill game. So total between the two, we're looking about 74 kills for the video. Pretty solid. But as you can see, it has well. I liked it. It was good. Good cane. Good chain killing potential. We got to use the the bayonet on it a few times, not very many. But from the start of me trying to make this Monte Carlo video to now, my opinion has shifted from this thing doesn't feel that great to it's better than I was anticipating it to be. So now with that done, we're here at the end of the video. I should leave Q so I don't join into a third one um but yeah pretty solid i was enjoying it quite a bit more than i was anticipating i kind of wish that instead of the at five stacks of markov chain it just converted the bayonet to be the the melee so when you melee it just you melee twice with the bayonet I think that would have been more fun, but the implementing that I think would be a nightmare. So, to be fair to Bungie, they did a good job with this catalyst. This ornament is one of my favorites in the game. They did good. Here at the end of the video, though, uh, normal stuff, like, comment, sub. Let me know your opinions on Monte Carlo. If you were, for whatever reason, in the matches with the Monte Carlo here, what was your opinion on Monte Carlo? I n know I was slaying out quite a bit, but did it feel good in your hands? It felt really good in mine. That nice handling stat, good stability, ranges mid. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. Normal stuff. Um, like I was saying earlier in the video, we are four away from that tr doing the stream with subscribe or stream with viewers not subscribers just stream with viewers so we're getting really close on that one that'd be awesome if you'd stick around and subscribe for that and then we'll be back again with another video in the next couple days probably on horror story or lethal abundance and then later down the line we might do a manticore again so thank you for your support thanks for watching the videos that's awesome i will see you in the next one Y'all have a good evening.